That pesky book of the dead, you know the one, bound in human flesh, inked in human blood, capable of summoning an ancient evil that craves human souls. That one. Well, it's risen up in the darndest place, a high-rise apartment building. Open the book, say the words, you know the rest. So Evil Dead Rise has been high on my must-watch list since I saw the first trailer. I liked the change in locations, from the cabin in the woods to an urban apartment building. And I dug the fact that it appeared to be its own animal, with little to no connection to any of the prior Evil Dead films. It looked lean, it looked mean, it looked evil. And now, after having watched the movie, one, I wish I hadn't watched the trailer, because the best parts of the movie are in the trailer. And two, I'm conflicted because even though I liked Evil Dead Rise and I certainly recommend it, there's just something missing. And no, I don't mean Bruce Campbell. Now, while I don't consider myself to be the biggest Evil Dead fan, I will say that in my opinion, there is no bad Evil Dead movie. And I enjoyed the television series a lot too. And I would add Rise to that list. However, it would be at the bottom of that list as the least Evil Dead movie and also the least Evil Dead Evil Dead movie. What I mean by that is that Evil Dead Rise just didn't feel like an Evil Dead movie to me. Sure, there's the Necronomicon, there's possessions, there's rivers of blood, puddles of puke, carnage, chaos, and bloodshed aplenty. But is that all an Evil Dead movie is? Rise felt almost like, and please allow me to explain, one of those direct-to-video Hellraiser sequels. Whoa, 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 whoa. I know you're vigorously pounding the thumbs down on the video right now, or typing out a, a, a vicious, hateful message. All I mean is that it kind of feels like a movie that started out as something else, and then the producers remembered, hey, we have the rights to Evil Dead. So throw the Necronomicon in there, a couple of references to Evil Dead 2, and here's your next Evil Dead movie. Now, that's not to say that Evil Dead Rise doesn't have a lot going for it. Unfortunately, most of what it has going for it is pretty superficial. The high point of the movie for me is Alyssa Sutherland's performance as Ellie. She's intense, she's creepy, she's freaky, she looked like she was giving it her all, and her line delivery, even for the mommies with the maggots line, which I'm not going to say isn't still a little cringy, but it could have been far more so coming from a lesser actor. As for the other characters in the film, I couldn't care less about any of them. And the story didn't seem that interested in making me care for them. It just seemed like they were there to be terrorized, brutalized, and then deadite-ized. One main character is a DJ. Or something. Another main character is... She's there. That's about it. Lily Sullivan is given the most to work with as Beth, but it's still not very much. Sullivan does the best with what she's given, but... Beth isn't a compelling heroine in the least. Nell Fisher is good as young Cassie. She's one of those wise beyond her years youngsters who delivers the comic relief. You never truly feel like she's in any real danger, even though the movie does sacrifice another young character early on as if to make a point or something. As much as I dug the new location, I wish they would have done more with it. Of course, a lot of people were making references to Demons 2 when the setting for Evil Dead Rise was first revealed to be a high-rise apartment building. But even though there's a change in location, it still feels just as compressed and claustrophobic as the cabin in the woods. Maybe even more so, which may be a positive to some. To me, it just feels like a missed opportunity. As far as bloodshed is concerned, there's plenty of it, and characters are mutilated in all sorts of heinous ways. There was only one real cringe moment for me, though, However, it was unfortunately spoiled by the trailer. 
Still, there's plenty of bloody, pukey, ooey-gooey moments with characters being mutilated and then mutilating themselves, but nothing really sticks out in retrospect as being overly memorable or brutal. There are a couple of attempts at humor, the only halfway clever one the trailer spoils, and the other is a reference to a prior Evil Dead movie that was clumsily done and just meh. So I know I've probably not made Evil Dead Rise sound very good, but I did have a good time while watching it. It's a fun, gory movie. The pacing is quick, the makeup and gore effects are on point, there's plenty of bloodshed and carnage, and Alyssa Sutherland is a queen deadite, as far as I'm concerned. But the movie never seemed to get out of second gear and really go for the throat. And I don't just mean in terms of the story or the visuals. There's an overall energy that an Evil Dead movie is supposed to have that Rise didn't, at least for me. Still, I enjoyed Evil Dead Rise for what it is, and I recommend it. It's not a glowing recommendation, but it's a recommendation nonetheless. Will I remember very much about it a week from now? Probably not. But I certainly don't regret spending 90 quick minutes back in the Evil Dead universe. A universe which I understand is about to expand. If you've seen Evil Dead Rise, please let me know your thoughts on the film down in the comments section below. And while you're down there, let me know where Rise would fall in your list of favorites Evil Dead movies. If you like this video, please leave it a thumbs up and share it on social media. If you're not following me on social media, those links are in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care. And until next time, peace. Thank you to all my patrons and channel members. I appreciate your generosity and support of my channel. Become a patron today and have a say in what content appears on my channel. Join me for monthly live streams and much more. Become a channel member today and get access to exclusive badges and emotes to use when I stream. Both those links are in the description. Say hello to the internet, Jeremy. Hello to the internet.